I, I'm Darren, I'm, I'm the head ranger for the, the Isle of City Wildlife Trust. I'm responsible for creating those work programmes to in, or, to in order to ensure that we can serve and enhance those species uh, and those habitats. The Wildlife Trust ranger team are going out on a day-to-day -day, uh, carrying out the practical habitat management for you know, to remove gorse or to control bracken or to survey sort of the results of our work. So going out and um, ass assessing the condition of the land or we're carrying out um, sort of a seabird monitoring, so counting the numbers of seabirds across the islands. So on Scilly we have about, maybe about 120 pairs of puffins. It's actually quite hard to count puffins because they nest down burrows or underneath rocks. So you can't actually just sort of go up and find a nest with eggs in the same as you can with gulls, for example. So one of the ways that we count the puffins is in March and April when they start to come back after their winter away, they raft on the water, so they're bobbing around on the water and we actually go out in the evenings and try and get an idea of how many are around the brooding sites and how many are going in and out of burrows. A typical day is 8.30 till 5. Um, the guys are either on St Mary's or they'll be hopping onto a boat to travel to either one of the other inhabited or in uninhabited islands and their work will range from as we said going out and looking at quadrats and counting the number of wildflower species or it could be that they've got a tractor and a flail and they're removing up to you know a hectare of gorse at a time. Part of the work of the ranger team is to ensure that the paths and the infrastructure across the islands uh, on our tenancy is well maintained. What you're standing on today and as you've walked through lower moors and high moors in particular we have uh, what we call boardwalk, so it's, it's like a, a skeleton with decking on top which enables people to walk across the wetlands without getting their feet wet ultimately. Uh, but I think there's a responsible message that we're trying to get across as, uh, as, a, as an island community, uh, as an island that's affected by a lot of marine plastic which is big news at the moment. Plastic doesn't have to be throwaway, plastic doesn't have to be wasted, plastic can be reused. So as you go around and as we replace our old wooden boardwalks with new boardwalk, we're using recycled plastic. We're hoping to create boardwalk throughout the whole of Lower Moors and throughout the whole of Higher Moors. So we're looking around about a thousand metres. So we're looking at almost you know, 100, uh, a, million, a, mi a million bottles recycled. So if you're looking for seabirds, puffins in particular, you really need to go out on the special boat trips. So there's quite a few different boat operators that offer the trips. Um, and we do trips with the Wildlife Trust as well with St Agnes Boats. And you're then going out to the islands because the puffins in particular are out on the uninhabited islands, that's where they're breeding. So you need to go out and, and actually go on a special trip to see them. We work with a, a local boat provider on a seabird safari sort of once a week during the summer months. Uh, so, and, so taking public out and showing them that the, particularly the breeding of seabirds across the islands. Um, I think memorable moments there, you know, seeing pods of dolphins, you know, uh, coming up close to the boat, some fish, but I think the best one's probably is sort of basking shark, um, which are, are, are becoming a rare occurrence around the islands. Um, we, we get them every now and again, but they're becoming you know, less and less frequent. Um, so if you are out on the boat trips as well, the other thing that's really exciting to see is our grey seal population. We've got really good numbers here, they do really well, and that's something that um, all of our boat operators are wise trained, which I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but it's about, about approaching them, but not, not disturbing them, but you get a good, good view of these, you know, our biggest um, marine mammal in the UK that, you know, that, that, that uh, we see regularly around Scilly.